So today we will talk about positive and negative sides of inbreeding method that you should know. But before anything else, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out any of our videos. And please watch this video till the end so you won't miss every single details. So let's get into the video. Aside of making guppies as ornamental fish pets in some countries, guppies are introduced widely for mosquito control. The success of which depends on their ability to survive under natural conditions, including exposure to parasites and susceptibility to any infections under controlled laboratory conditions. Examining the susceptibility of inbred individuals to parasitism in a controlled environment has been scarcely studied and even making new strain for some hobbyists and guppy farms. And now first we will discuss what are the positive sides of inbreeding in terms of making new strain. So we have here the inbreed of bluegrass guppy which has solid dark blue color. And if you are keeping bluegrass for a long time, I'm sure you already encounter this type. So by making it new strain, we will introduce here new blood to them by outcrossing semi crown tail blue panda to make their line strong And we will assume that this is already F4, not the mixture garden. <laughs> oh, hell no! <laughs> and you can do this for several breeding to come up with uh, the preferred color and pattern that you like. If you're gonna ask why I'm using this kind of hybrid panda, because their color has similarity and it will just take you several breeding period to perfect this as your own strain in a short period of time, unlike those complex patterns. And also if you want to develop this inbred color and you already like it, then just breed the two inbred lines or let's assume they are already rich F4 and this is your line 1 and line 2.
So to enable to make them strong and pure, let's just cross them again for several breeding and there you go this time you already have your own another pure string so congratulations about that <laughs> so that's the positive sides of inbreeding when you develop a hybrid strain So let's go to negative effects or danger of inbreeding. These effects will only occur if you did not introduce a new blood to them for a long time or should I say you've just kept your guppy or you just keep your guppy in a community tank for a long period of time without using line breeding and outcrossing method. Study shows and analyzes guppies that have been bred for four generations in one of three breeding regimes, control breeding, inbreeding and outcross breeding as what you can see in our graph here the effect of breeding regime inbreed the dotted one outbreed the dashed control breeding the solid line on the number of parasites on guppies we can see on the graph that over a 17 days period there was significantly higher maximum parasite intensity on the inbred fish compared to those in the control but there was no significant difference between the maximum parasite intensity of the inbred and outbred regimes breeding between related individuals can result in harmful versions of genes being expressed with the random laboratory guppy studies finding inbreed offspring had lower survival rates and reduced size and fertility. Small and isolated populations are particularly vulnerable to environmental and demographic stochasticity, which can result in the loss of genetic variation due to random genetic drift both drift and inbreeding tend to accelerate the loss of gene diversity and this can result in individuals being less resistant to environmental change and increased mortality reduce disease resistance can affect many different fitness related traits including low survival rate and low reproductive success and even parasite susceptibility inbred individuals tend to have higher pathogen susceptibility compared to outbreed counterparts even in one generation of full siblings, inbreeding can lead to a reduction in a male sexual motivation and mating success. But the effects of inbreeding are significantly more pronounced after multiple generations. And hopefully you've got that. And in conclusion, overall we already know those positive sides and negative sides of inbreeding method. And hopefully this guide will help you widen your understanding on guppy fish keeping happy and of course once again if you're new here please consider subscribing to get updated on our next video like this one and of course follow our fb page at habitp.ph or just click the link below description thank you very much guys stay safe and to god be the glory bye bye